Today we're going to test our galvanic isolator to make sure it's functioning properly as we noticed that our zincs were prematurely eroding away. So we want to eliminate any issues with that device which is located down here in the bilge. Okay, so here's the galvanic isolator. This model is a ProSafe Zinc Saver 60 from ProMariner. You can see it's mounted, it's a little hard to get to, but it's mounted over by the inlets to the power cords. There's the green ground that's coming from the shore power. It comes through the 50 amp inlet, which is that white connector there. And then it comes into this side of the zinc saver. And then it goes through the zinc saver and comes out the other side there. So what this does is limit the currents that uh, may be in the water or leakage in the boat. Don't know exactly how it works, but it keeps the uh, stray current from flowing into the boat and uh, or out of the boat and destroying your zincs. So uh, we're going to test this device here. And what you need to do is disconnect both the leads on each side and then test it with the digital voltmeter to see if it's uh, working correctly. You want to make sure that your power is off and I have it disconnected from the shore power. This is only the ground, but you never know. There could be a fault on the line. So you want to make sure everything's off. Don't have your generator on. Turn off all the power to the boat. So you're all nice and safe. Okay, we have both leads disconnected. That's the lead going to the connector, the, the shore power. And then this heavy one is what's going back towards the power panel with all the rest of the cables. Now we want to connect the meter leads up to these two terminals and test for continuity through the system. Okay, so we have the leads connected. It does help if you have these clip leads so you don't have to hold it with your hands. And the leads go down to the multimeter. And I have it set here to diode test and it's showing me 0.913 ohms. So that's telling me that there is continuity going through the sink saver. And what we want to do is reverse the leads to see if it's working in both directions. And just change these connectors here. And we have 0.91 in the reverse direction. So it appears to be operating correctly. Now you want to make sure that you have a meter that does the diode check. Looks like that. Um, because if you have a cheaper meter that just does ohm readings, it's not going to work. As you can see, it shows that it's an open circuit right there, overload. That means it's not reading any ohms between the two leads. So uh, you want to make sure that your meter has this diode check right here for it to uh, test properly. Okay, now that we know it's operating correctly, I'm going to hook these leads back up. And uh, I guess our zincs being worn away are just a uh, phenomenon of the conditions here in the water, the salt water here in southwest Florida. We are at the docks. Um, there's a lot of power going to my neighbor's docks. There could be some leaking current. And the zincs are doing their job. So uh, this is working correctly. And we want to just make sure we stay on top of the zincs, check them every so often, and replace them as necessary. So that's it on this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.